Hello and welcome everyone. If you can see me and hear me, please drop me a 777 in the chat box and we'll make a start. Thank you all her and also welcome everyone. Um, it's the first Monday of the new year 2021. Welcome Peter and also please let me know which part of the country or the world you are from. So I'm currently based in, in the UK and at the moment it well, certainly for the last few days, it has been snowing. So welcome Olha from Italy, Samira from Sweden, Hugglescott, Wolverhampton. Welcome, welcome Kenya. We have Kenya in the house. Welcome Kenya. So Leicester of all places. Welcome Mandy from Leicester. And another person from Wolverhampton. Welcome Gordon from Wolverhampton. Cameroon, as always, amazing place. So welcome everyone. First Monday of the new year, 2021. How has your first, I'll say the first week of 2021 been so far? Mine has been absolutely awesome. And the reason for that is because I visualized it. So fruitful says B. So yes, mine has been fruitful, exciting. And also every single day is a blessing. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you my outlook for, for the coming year, for 2021. And also we'll get Mandeep on the call as well, the beloved Mandeep that we all love and, 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 and know. <laughs> so she'll be on the call as well to give you her, her take on her outlook for 2021. But before I start, how many of you on this presentation have actually written down your goals for 2021? Just give me an indication via the chat box and I will then try and pull up a presentation. I've got a, a very, very short presentation that, that I've done. So be well done, all her bent, Sabrina, 100 of them, excellent. You should all have at least 100 goals for the upcoming year. For 2021, it's always good to have at least 100 things you want to have achieved this year. Mandeep, yours is done, brilliant. And the reason for that is that whatever you put in writing will happen. So very, very important to make sure that you do have your goals in place because unless you have your goals in place, you don't know where you're headed. So if you're driving your car to work or to the gym or wherever you want to go, and if you don't know where you're going, they'll be driving around in circles. So what I want to do today is talk about my 10 daily activities for success in 2021. We have G Mighty from Ghana. Welcome Ghana. I think we do have other people from Ghana in the team as well. So welcome G Mighty, and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing your name very well. Welcome from Ghana. So what I want to do today is talk about my 10 daily activities for success in 2021. Now, these things I've been doing for, for several years, and obviously I've been running a business now or businesses for over a decade or at least two decades. And there's some habits that I've managed to, to bring across into this business as well. So, so the kind of things I want to talk about today are very, very basic things. However, when I speak to people, certainly within my team, um, I'm amazed by how many people um, that don't actually do these basic things. And as you all know, the foundation is very, very important. And unless you've got a, a great foundation, unless you've covered the basics, there's no point going into the advanced stuff. So let's talk about the basics today. Now, these are my 10 daily activities that I will be doing every single day, hence the word daily, every single day this year. I will be doing these every single day this year. So the first thing that I do every single day is that I've got a gratitude journal. So I have a journal where I have my affirmations and also my gratitude. Um, so in, in here, I've got things that I'm grateful for. So every single day as a basic, you should sit down and write down 10 things, at, or at least 10 things that you are grateful for. And also if you try and write these with your, with your left hand, if you're right-handed and right hand, if you're left-handed. So try and use your non-dominating hand when you write down your gratitude journal. Now, sometimes, you know, newbies or people that don't understand this very well may struggle to to find things that they are grat grateful for but in all honesty just to give you some basic examples i'm so happy and grateful that i woke up this morning millions of people around the world did not wake up this morning um today on the 4th of january so i'm grateful for for being alive i'm grateful for having a family for having friends for having my i am family for every single person on this call i'm grateful for you just to give you a few ideas i'm grateful for where i live my cars 
and my houses and so on and so on. So you should be grateful for certain things. And again, um, one of my mentors taught me a while back, try and write something different down the second day. So it's, it's, sort of, it's going to test your, your, your memory, test your brain and make you think a little bit. So don't just write the same things every single day. Try and make each day different. So try and write down <clears throat> 10 different things tomorrow and so on and so on. Obviously, there will be some replication for things that you are very, very grateful for. But this is a good pattern to adopt. And it's certainly something I've been doing and my mentors have been doing for, I'd say, an eternity. So it's very, very important to be grateful for whatever you are grateful for and get yourself a journal if you don't have a journal well you should have a journal by now but if you don't have one go into the the bookshops tomorrow get yourself a journal before we enter into the next major lockdown certainly in the uk now the second thing that i do after my writing down what i'm grateful for is that i write down and or read my daily affirmation. So again, in, my, in, in the same journal, this is also my affirmation journal. I've got, so I think I've got about 15 or so affirmations that I go through every single day. And your affirmations can be anything from, from your, your income goals, for example. Just say you're wanting to hit $10,000 a month. One of your affirmations could be, I'm so happy and grateful that I am now, make it in, in, in the current tense, that I am now making $10,000 every single month and add a date to it from the 24th of April 2021 to give you a date. So make sure you have affirmations that you read through every single day. If you can write them down every single day as well, that will help a lot. So if you can write your affirmations down every single day, it will help. And also I've heard that you should do this with a blue pen. So there you go. Um, it's something I didn't know about before, but if it, it does help if you write them down with a blue pen and write your gratitude journal down with your left hand or non-dominating hand, um, certainly left hand if you're right-handed. So those two things I do every single day when I wake up. So the first thing I do is my gratitude journal and I then move on to my daily affirmations. Following that, this is something I've started to do recently. I haven't done this before. Um, I read the self-confidence formula. I'm not going to read it out to you today, but if you've read the book, Think and Grow Rich, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is the book by Napoleon Hill, and he came up with the, the self-confidence formula. If you go onto Google and search self-confidence formula, you'll come across it, and you should, as a matter of course, read it every single day. I actually have the self-confidence formula in my journal. So every single day, the third thing that I tend to do is that I will read the self-confidence formula. And that formula goes very very deep it doesn't appear so at, at, at the beginning when you read it the first few times but when you go over it again and again you, you'll know what i'm talking about now some proponents of the self-confidence formula say that you should memorize it in my particular case i've memorized elements of it just not because I, I intended to but just because of the repetition so once you're reading it every single day you'll find that you will automatically memorize the self-confidence formula so please go onto google today do a google search on the self-confidence formula print it out and laminate it which is what i've done so laminate it and read it every single day and this can be the third thing that you do every single day so the first three things i talked about were very much spiritual mental you know in the head but of course as we all know we've talked about this every single week 90 percent of success is in in here inside your head so when it comes to trading when it comes to um, running a new business the skill set is only around 10 percent um, 15 percent maximum 90 percent or bulk of it is in your head which is why the gratitude journal the affirmations the self-confidence formula are so so important now if i go to a few things that i do which are skill based every single day i'm i'm creating or writing at least 10 stories for facebook LinkedIn and also Instagram. Now with my Instagram account, I have linked that to my Facebook account. So when I do a story on on link oh, sorry, on Instagram, it will appear automatically on Facebook. And that saves you a little bit of time. If you have admin working for you, this is one of the jobs you can you can sort of pass on to them and at least a minimum of 10 stories every single day. Now what you'll find is that when you're persistent and consistent and you're doing the same things every single day although they may appear to be basic things 
you will find that you will get momentum in your business every single day, day in, day out, without, without fail. Um, if you go to my Instagram story today, I think I've done about five or so today, so I've got five more to go. You don't have to do them all in one sitting, but throughout the day, if you can do 10, at least, I'd say, 10 stories on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. You're not able to link your LinkedIn profile or the story section to Facebook or Instagram, so you will have to go to LinkedIn separately. Um, in my particular case, I've had more success from my Instagram and Facebook stories than LinkedIn. LinkedIn has, has only recently brought in the story element, but again, it is quite powerful. So you've covered the, the mindset, the first three things, and now we're getting into the skill set. So make sure you've got your 10 stories done every single day. You might find on certain days that you can't be bothered to do them, but trust me, if you don't do them, somebody else in the organization or another organization will be doing it, and you'll find that someone that could have become a customer or part of your team will join another team. So make sure you do this every single day because you do not know who is watching you, okay? two billion or so people on Facebook and Instagram and you don't know who's watching you so make sure you do your stories every single day. Now when it comes to wall posts ideally I'd say at least one a day but if you can't do one a day then three to five wall posts across your social media channels every single day. So again at the moment I'm, I'm just focusing on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. I also use Twitter as well in my case but again and um, for the beginner, I think Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn, those three are very, very good. So in addition to your 10 stories a day, my recommendation would be to have three to five wall posts a week as well. If you're struggling on what to, to post on your social media pages, we have so much information going through our WhatsApp groups. By all means, you can plagiarize, you can take anything you like from the WhatsApp group and add it to the stories and the posts. But just bear in mind that you should not be making any income claims. Anything other than that, it's fine to do. So three to five wall posts every single week. One thing I must add at this point, <coughs> excuse me, is that whenever you're doing a post, always attach at least one tag to it. So hashtag network marketing, hashtag Forex, hashtag trading, um, whatever you're, you're targeting, make sure that you use the correct tagging in your posts. Otherwise, the only people that will see your posts are your followers. If you want to reach a wider audience, my recommendation is to use tagging in every single post that you place. Now, one thing that I do is that I have a bunch of tags in my phone. Um, I've got an iPhone here. So in my phone, I've got a bunch of tags and I've put them in, in the notes section. So what I tend to do is I'll just copy and paste them straight into my social media pages. So rather than having to type out every single post every single day, certainly if you've got 10 or so tags on there, you can just copy and paste the tags from the notes section of your, your, your iPhone or your Android device, whatever you might be using. And it does save time, definitely. And also what I've also um, do is that because I have a MacBook, I've got an iPad, I've got iPhones, um, you can actually copy and paste across devices. So if I'm if I if I write something on my MacBook, it's much easier to do it than on my phone. I can then copy that and paste it onto my phone, and from my phone, I can just paste it straight straight into social media. And um, and again, it's, it's a quick trick um, that I've learned, and it's very very um, it saves time, and it means that you can post much quicker than otherwise. In addition to this, your stories and and your wall posts. Every single day, you need to be sending out 30 private messages on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Every single day, um, I'm contacting 30 people and I'm sending a message. The message does not have to be a, a 10,000 word essay. It can it can be something like, you know, hi, how's it going? Or hi, you've got a great page, you know, how's business? And Or, or you can talk about that particular page. If this person likes to travel, um, let's say to, to Mexico, you can say, you know, how's, how's life in Mexico? So, I mean, there's no single verbiage that I tend to use. It'll, it'll depend on the person I'm speaking to. But a very, very quick thing to do is just to say, hi, how's it going? And if you add their name to the post as well, they are more likely to respond. So if you, um, and also it's, it's more personal than to just say, how's, how's it going? So if it's, if it's someone called Mandeep, you would say, hi, how's it going, Mandeep? You know, how's life in Leicester? How's it treating you? Um, and definitely sh she's more likely to respond then. So 30 private messages a day on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Now at the moment, I'm going through my daily activities. As a minimum, 
I will do every single one of these activities every single day, seven days a week. Even if I'm on holiday, I will try to get these done or I'll try and get somebody else to do them for you. And, and again, like I said earlier, the more persistent you are, the more consistent you are, the more success you will achieve in this business. So try and do these as a minimum every single day. And what you'll find is that over a period of time, you'll become unconsciously competent, which is where you need to be. And that basically means that you'll be able to do these very, very quickly and churn them out, you know, within a couple of hours every single day. We're now coming to the to the presenting. Uh, again, ideally three times a day. If you can present to prospects three times a day, every single day, and again, this is something that's come down to me from my mentors, it will make a huge difference to your business three times a day as opposed to three times a week or three times a month. Obviously, you need prospects for this. And if you do, you know, four, five and six above, you will get people that want to speak to you. To those people, you want to be presenting every single day. Now, in my case, I'm not always presenting one to one. If I can get two or three people at least um, on a Zoom call together, I will do that. And also on our weekly team calls, we have anywhere from, I think, 20 people and the most has been over 100 people um, that we're speaking to collectively. So ideally, if you can do it you know, with a few people in the room, it's good. But I also speak to people one to one. And sometimes I actually convert people without even using the official presentation. So sometimes I will speak to people on the phone and they will convert on the phone. So how you present to people might differ from the way I do it. But again, what you'll find is that the more presentations you do, the better you will get at it. OK, the more presentations you do, the better and more efficient presenter you will become. And you'll find that more people will convert. Now, for someone who's recently joined the business, a good conversion rate is probably 10 percent. So one in 10 people that you speak to will become a customer. If you can make that two or three, you are, out of 10, you have effectively got a six or seven figure business. If you can convert three people out of 10, you've got a multi-million pound business. So if you can do two out of 10, that's very, very good. One out of 10, if you're a beginner, it's a numbers game. Exposure is everything. Even if you are an expert making on a tens of millions of dollars every single month, it's a numbers game for you as well. And also for the beginner. So every single day you need to show the plan. The more you do, the better you will get and the higher your averages and conversion rates will become. So very, very important to do your presenting every single day. Personal development is the second P. Whether it's reading, audio or video does not make a difference. My car is my university on wheels. So even if I'm going to the local shop, I'll put some personal development in there. I've got an SD card, I've got CDs in there, USB sticks, and also I can link it directly to my phone as well. So I've got no excuse not to be listening to personal development every single day. Now, when it comes to reading, if you can read at least, I'll make it easy, at least one page every single day. If you can read a chapter, awesome. At least one page of, of a good book like Think and Grow Rich every single day, and you'll find that you are growing every single day as well. I also tend to look at a lot of videos based around personal development. And if you've got Netflix, get rid of it. I don't have a Netflix subscription myself because my my audio and video personal development um, subscriptions are on my Netflix. So if you have Netflix, get rid of it and, and start to focus on this. Do you know every single one of these on this list and you'll find it will absolutely make a huge difference to your business. Number nine out of 10 is personal exposure via the WhatsApp groups. Now, every single person on this call is in a WhatsApp group. And what you need to do is that you need to make sure that your team sees what you are doing. Because unless they see what you are doing, they don't actually know that you exist. Obviously, you've, you've brought them into the business, but they want to see your face. So in, in the WhatsApp group, this is very, very important, certainly when it comes to churnage, churn, sorry, and also you want to retain your team. So the quicker you can get your, your, your team to, or people within your organization to make money, the more chances they are to stay within the organization. And the way you can do that is by making sure your face is visible in the WhatsApp groups. Now, 
What you talk about is entirely up to you. You can do a short video. I'll, again, I would say, I don't know, two or three times a week if you can in your WhatsApp group because your team is looking at what you are doing. They might not necessarily do what you tell them to do. However, they will do what you are doing. Now, imagine if your team was doing all nine of these, where would your business be today? And the way to get your team to do all nine of those is for you to do those and to show your team that you're doing this every single day. And you can do that through social media and also through the WhatsApp groups. Now, if you're a leader on this call, as many people are looking down the list, ideally you should have your own, own groups as well. And you should be having your own team meetings very much like this at least once a week. You should be having a team meeting at least once a week with your team so that you can personally develop your, your team leaders as well. And again, by having this personal contact with your team every single week, day in, day out, you'll find it'll make a huge difference to your business because again, you're being persistent and consistent. And in this business, as with many other businesses, the more persistent you are, the more consistent you are, the better you will do at this business. Last but not least, number 10 <laughs> is fresh air. So I've put that in because it's, it's very, 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 very important. Fresh air is so, so important today, especially because um, around the world, we have you know lockdowns all over the place, and many, many people are stuck in their square boxes, in their cubicles. Unfortunately, in the world that we live today, you know, you get a headache and you, you jump for the paracetamol. You know, you get a sore throat and you run around looking for strepsils. If you were taking taking in a fresh air of 20 to 30 minutes a day, every single day, it would mean or make a huge difference to you, to your well-being. And, and, and the healthier you are, the stronger your business will become. So if you get a headache, go for a walk. If you're feeling depressed, go for a walk. Now, I don't want to talk about this aspect in too much detail on this presentation. Um, I'll leave that for a later date and time. But as a minimum, if you can do 20 to 30 minutes outside in the fresh air every single day, it'll make a huge difference to your fitness levels and also to your business because everybody wants to see a fit leader. Uh, I'm sure you agree with me. Anyway, th those are my 10 things. That's what I wanted to talk about. And as a minimum, you need to be doing those 10 daily activities every single day, certainly for at least the next 90 days. But what you'll find is that when you do this for 90 days, like I said earlier, you'll become unconsciously competent and you'll be able to do those things very, very quickly. And before you know it, you'll have it all done within a couple of hours. So that's all I wanted to say. I want to pass it on to my co-host, Mandy. Um, if she's on the call and then we'll we'll take it from there. Mandy, are you here? Hi, Dr. Drab. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Mandy. Oh my God, it's 2021. How is everyone doing? Drab, thanks for that. That was really useful. I was actually taking notes myself. Um, so some really great tips there. How are you doing? How's your New Year's, Drab? My New Year's absolutely awesome. And I don't know if you know this, but that's 363 days. That's like 61 days until the next year. So... <laughs> Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah, no, thank you. For that. That's, um, that, that's truly something, 100%. Um, very, very exciting times ahead. And uh, thank you for that. I, I really don't know what I'm going to say on this call now, because I think you've covered everything. So uh, I guess that's that really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's nice to see you, mate. I'm, I'm going to go and go to bed now, I think. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Good night. Good night. That's absolutely fine. So how is everyone doing? I want you to put your energy levels on a scale of one to ten. One being, you know what, I'm, I'm still getting into the new year and 10 being, I'm ready for the new year, I'm excited. I want to know what everyone's energy levels are. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Go for it. We've got 100, we've got 20, we've got, uh, we got a 10, we've got a 10 out of 10, we've got 100. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. We've got someone who's like off the scales. Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So it's really fantastic to be here. Happy New Year 2021 to each and every single one of you. The year of overflow, acceleration and abundance, however you want to call it. Uh, you know, it is really, really great to be here. We do these calls every single Monday, by the way. And each week, Dr. Jav and I, we pick a topic between us um, to talk about. Um, and I kind of wanted to, you know, sort of summarize 2020 briefly and then, you know, kind of going to 2021, uh, what we have planned ahead and also get you, all of you, in fact, to do a mini exercise. So this is going to be quite an interactive exercise. Um, and I think if you do it, it will really help you to, to personally reflect on how your 2020 went and your 2021 goals. So I know Dr. Jav alluded to it earlier. You know, he, he asked, 
how many of us have done our goals. Some of us might be sitting there thinking, I've not done my goal. So I'm going to literally give you 10 to 15 seconds while I'm talking to go and grab a pen and paper because I'm going to get you to think about your own goals. Now, 2020, what an amazing year. We are so blessed. We are so, um, you know, we need to be in a appreciative state that we are in a business like this. We're in a business where everything is online. Everything is online. I mean, with something like this, you know, you can earn a lot of money from Forex. However, if you learn it properly, I know this is being recorded, so I have to be careful what I'm saying and the way I'm saying it, but we're not making any income claims here. This is an industry that pays very well, provided that you learn it properly, provided that you have the guidance, the education, and the mentorship, which is exactly what this platform provides. So that's point number one. Point number two, for those of you that are looking to build a business, which is not everybody, but some of you, imagine receiving an email from the company through Skrill every single week that here you're getting paid. You're getting paid again and again and again. The company has been paying residual income for the last seven and a half years now, for the last seven and a half years. And actually, they were really kind because, you know, that the last payment was actually a day early because it was Friday, the 1st of January on Friday, of course, the new year. Um, and so they decided to pay everyone on the 31st of January. How amazing. In fact, yeah, Dr. Jab's right that the last two payments because the week before was Christmas. So we still got paid. Imagine we still got paid. The company is reliable. They're credible and they're amazing. You know, we are looking to empower, enrich and educate the lives of one million customers. The vision is huge and we're going to go there. You know, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm enriching, helping to enrich the lives of one million customers is our mantra. And we've got to really decide what our goals are going to be for, for you know, for 2021. I mean, 2020, we closed off with an incredible year. We've had a lot of training. We had a lot of events. I know most of them were virtual and online, um, but it really, really was a successful year. And one of the things I want to share, actually, is the um, schedule for this year. This is actually something, um, you know, that we've, we've put together. Um, so let me just share my screen. You will have all received this in the groups, but this is a schedule you'll see on the screen right there um, that we have. And, and I want you to take a, a note of this, a picture of this, whatever you will. This is not going to change much week to week, but every single week we have Forex team trainings and you want to make sure that you are on these trainings. Instead of having two strategies that we're teaching per week now, we actually have four. Number one is the DeLorean. Number two is harmonics. Number three is ECC 11 on vibrata. And number four is a HFX. Okay. High frequency Forex. That's something new. So the two new strategies that we've added in is the DeLorean on the Monday. That's like a that's like a, a scalping tool. And then HFX, high frequency forex. That's even more scalping. Um, and that's going to be on Friday. So there is literally um, no excuse for people not to win. You know, we, we've got to be we, we've got to be um, plugging into these calls, making the most of them and pick a strategy, pick something that you're going to stick to. And don't be overwhelmed that, oh, there's too much. I don't know what to do. I don't want to plug into. If you're someone who likes long term trading, and you don't like to, you know, kind of worry about the trade being in there, do harmonics, you know, do harmonics, stick to that nice and simple. Hodman teaches a really great strategy on Tuesday. If you're someone who likes to scalp, maybe over an hour, a couple of hours, whatever it is, choose DeLorean or ECC 11. If you're someone who wants to literally, you know, make money very, very quickly over a short period of time, um, then you're looking at high frequency forex. So there's literally something for everybody on our, you know, on our uh, Zoom schedule uh, this year. The other second thing that I want to uh, talk about is this particular experience here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link in the group chat because it's literally uh, crazy. I know I'm kind of going crazy with putting the link in the group, but I don't want anyone to miss this. This is the I Believe experience that David and Anita is hosting. Now, this is crazy because we actually booked our tickets to go to Texas like this week. So we were supposed to be in Texas this week, but of course, with everything going on, we're not able to fly out there. And so what David and Minita decided to do was to actually um, host a live stream. So I hope you can all see my screen, but this is the event itinerary. You've got the Saturday and the Sunday. Um, it's actually gonna be insanely amazing. And I want everybody to take note of this because honestly, for $97, um, you're going to get access to something amazing. And this truly is going to be something, you know, we're, we're very, very excited about it. Whoops. 
uh, we're very excited about it. All the tickets um, are, are being booked currently. So you just got to get out there and, and book it because this is going to be amazing. If you're someone who wants to really, really take their trading account to the next level this year, if you're someone who wants to, you know, take their residual income to the next level, you definitely, definitely want to plug into this call. By the way, I don't get paid to promote this call. Uh, let me repeat that again. I don't get paid by David and Manitier to promote this call personally. The reason why I'm promoting it is because I want every single person, I want to help them and show them that, look, we can all level up through the right information. And Mr. David and Manitier is definitely the right person to go to in terms of you know, the right information. He's a multi-millionaire and he's already part of the IM platform, but he's started, you know, Believe Nation a few months back. And now he's actually going to be talking about how we can become a better version of ourselves. Because sometimes people get stuck. They don't know what to do. They're not sure how to do it. And so something like this, $97, I would say, get to even if you have to get together in a home if you're outside the uk whatever it is i don't know what those social distancing rules are get a few of you together and watch it and have a zoom party or a webinar party where you can actually see david live so that's on that definitely book your tickets and once you've booked it put a screenshot in the groups and have fun with it because this is something amazing i mean i feel so so gutted because dr jav myself a lot of leaders we booked to go to texas this week so right now we would have been going to the airport. We would have been on our way to the airport today or tomorrow. Um, but obviously we have to make the most of the virtual event. So it is what it is, no problem. At least we get to see David live at streaming. So we've got the um, schedule this week and for this year, pretty much it's not gonna change week to week. And then we've also got the I Believe event this Saturday, $97, get it booked as soon as you can. And the last thing I wanted to, to kind of cover is basically something that I put together and this is where you're going to need your notepads and pens. I just need to find the presentation. But this is something that I really want you to think about towards your goals in 2021. OK, so let me share my screen and let's get started. OK, so these are um, nine key questions that I want you to ask yourselves. OK, so in 2020, what were my achievements towards trading and building? So you're asking this question to yourselves. What were your achievements towards your trading and building? Write it down. So was it that you grew your account? Was it that, and remember, you're not focusing on anything other than achievements. So, you know, did you, did you manage to build a team? If you're building, did you manage to hit a certain rank in the compensation plan? In terms of trading, did you hit a certain goal? What were your achievements towards your trading and your building? Remember, this, these questions are focused towards the business. So have a think on that. Okay, question number two, what were my learns? What were my learns? And maybe, you know, in terms of the trading, I'm just giving you some ideas here while, we, while we're on the call, but what were my learns? Maybe I need to be less greedy. Maybe I need to compound an account. Maybe I need to plug into the go live, um, you know, sessions a bit more. Maybe I need to wake up earlier to catch the market. Something that you learned from your trading. What about your building? I learned that I've got to be more patient. I learned that I've got to be more coachable. I've got to be more teachable. I've got to connect with my mentor a lot more. I've got to be present in my groups. Like, what were your learns? What were your learns? Question number three What do I need to do more of? What do I need to do more of? So, again, is it plugging into the education? is that you need to do more practice because this was a key thing last year when I spoke to quite a few customers, they're plugging into the sessions, but they're not doing enough practice on their own. So are you someone who's just plugging into the sessions and taking, you know, maybe the trade ideas, or are you physically opening up the laptop at half eight, seven o'clock, eight, nine o'clock in the morning and saying, right, it's a London session now. And I'm going to take trades um, with GBP Euro and, 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 you know, kind of grow my account from that. What about presentations for those of you building? Do you need to do more presentations a day? Do you need to pick up the phone more? Do you need to, do you, need to you know, send more messages to people on social media? Question number four, what do I need to do less of? Now, this is an interesting one. What do I need to do less of? Is it watching Netflix? Is it watching movies every day? Is it having your face in the fridge? I don't know. 
what is not serving you anymore we have to let that go so if, if these things are not serving us then we, we we shouldn't we shouldn't we shouldn't um we shouldn't be doing them we, we we need to let go of these things so these are habits that we really really need to you know let go of ultimately you know so we need to really let go of these habits so what do i need to do less of maybe it's procrastination so i need to procrastinate less and and do more you know what what, what is that all about question number five what do i need to improve on this kind of maybe amalgamates the, uh, you know, these uh, previous two, three questions, but what do I need to improve on? Is it my punctuality? Is it my timekeeping on Zooms? Is it the fact that I need to present in a better way if you're building the business? And for those of you who are trading, do you need to improve on your strategy? Do you need to maybe look at another strategy? Do you need to perfect the existing strategy? Do you need to improve on emotions? You know, if you're someone that's, you know, going into a trade, like, I don't know how many of you caught the GU drop today. The traders will know what I'm talking about. GBPUSD dropped like crazy today. How many of us caught that drop? Do we need to improve on understanding the entry points in the market? So these are all really, really key and relevant things. Question number six, sum up your 2020 in just three words. And in fact, I'm going to stop the share right here. And I want to see... Um, you know, what your what your three words were. So I want you to sum up your 2020 in just three words. Let's have a look. What do you all think? So 2020, if you just summarize it in just three words, was it happy? Was it, were you grateful? Was it, were you inspired? Was it maybe not so much on the good side? Like what were your three words that, um, that you would sum up your 2020? And I'll just give you a couple of minutes to put that on there. OK, so we've got promoting, presenting, prospecting from Dr. Jav. Amazing. We've got from a dupe. We've got exciting, different growth. So hopefully these are giving you examples of what 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 your 20, you know, 2020 might have looked like and maybe what you want, what you want your 2021 to look like as well. OK, so last few questions that we're going to go through. OK, last few questions. We have got question number seven. What is my 2021 goal for, sorry, what is my goal for 2021 towards building and trading? So again, Jav's already, you know, spoken to you about this, but hopefully, and I really hope that, you know, most of you, if not all of you have got your goals written down. If you're someone, someone that's looking to build, uh, fantastic. If not, that's okay. What is your trading goal? Like, what are you looking to do this month? Is it grow your account 3% a day? Are you looking to catch 10, 20, 50 pips a day? What are you looking to do? What about this year? Is your trading goal five figures a year, six figures a year? Is it four figures a month? Like how much, are you, if you're working, how much income or percentage growth are you looking to grow your account by part-time or alongside your job? You know, what is your goal? Is your goal, it maybe you could even measure it by, okay, I'm going to take just three trades a day. That's it. I'm not going to take any more than three trades a day. And once I've hit my target, I'm going to stop. So these are really key things that you want to be asking yourselves when it comes to, you know, the, the, the way you trade. What is my goal for 2021? I need to wake up early every single day, eight o'clock, seven o'clock, nine o'clock, whatever it is um, to, to do my trading, to, to get into the market because that's when it's the busiest, most liquid session, especially, you know, sort of between eight to 10 a.m. UK time. So is that something that we need to do? Write it down. Question number eight, take one to two action steps. That, sorry, write down one to two action steps you will take towards these goals daily. So if your goal is trading, well, what are you going to do tomorrow towards your trading goal? Like if you're saying, I want to make five figures this month or I want to hit six figures this year, then what steps are you taking? Is it compounding? Is it that you're looking at long-term strategies? Are you doing swing trading? Are you budding up with someone um, so you can kind of, you know, look at your trading account together and have an accountability partner? What are you doing towards your trading? And again, for those of you without building, what action steps are you going to take daily? Is it presentations? Is it exposures? Is it more Instagram messages? Is it more presence? You know, I was talking to someone about this yesterday and I was saying, look, if you're a builder, and a leader and you want to earn residual income, you cannot have your shop closed, which means that your shop is your social media. If people can see that you're inactive and you are posting nothing on your stories, you are classed as a shop closed. Your, your shop is closed. People can't buy because they don't know what you're doing. You know, if, if there's a sign outside a shop and the lights are closed off, are you going to think that that, that store or, or whatever is open? No. So the thing is, lights on all the time. When I say lights on, minimum, like Jav, Dr. Jav said, 
minimum 10 stories on your Instagram posts. So is that an action point maybe for yourself? And then finally, how will I celebrate my goal and with who? Because ultimately, the reason why you're wanting to trade and build is to earn the income to be able to do something of your choice, to be able to achieve a goal of your choice. So is it going to be your spouse, your partner, um, you know, your, your parents, your children, your grandchildren, your friends, your, your family, relatives? Like who, what's your, how are you going to celebrate your goal? Are you going to take a trip to Dubai or Turkey or USA? Are you going to go to like a nice lavish restaurant? Are you going to, you know, go, be a jet setter and go traveling around the world with that income? Are you going to, you know, kind of retire yourself? Are you going to, well, what are you going to do with the income? And these are the things that you want to, you know, really put around your home. You know, we're always talking about goals and, and visualization and things like that. And they're really key. So get into the spirit of, okay, if I, if I achieved four, five, six figures this year, this month, this day, how am I going to celebrate? Who am I going to celebrate it with? So this, this particular point really gets you excited about your 2021 goal. So hopefully that's helped. And I just wanted to finish off with a quote, which is as follows, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. So Henry Ford, you know, someone who is, is phenomenal uh, you know, as far as um, money and income and all that kind of category is concerned. But he's right. He is totally, totally right when he says this, because everything is in our thinking and our mindset. So we can give you all the tools, all the material, everything. But if we don't believe in ourselves, we're going to find it hard to get to the next level. So that's the key thing that you know you can do it. Step outside the comfort zone and be the best of you. And it's really, really key and, and that we continue uh, uh, going on. We've got another um, few words, growth, gratitude, positivity. Perfect. Amazing. And that's what we have to do. So that's enough from me. I really enjoyed um, coming on here and sharing my bit. I really appreciate your time. I'm now going to pass it over do uh, to Dr. Jav, who's going to uh, finish off the call, say a few words, and we look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Thank you. Well, that was brilliant, Mandy. Mandy, can you stay on for like a quick two minutes? Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Um Thank you for that. And I've just noticed uh, you've just put a picture on Instagram of you. Is it Australia, Sydney? <laughs> yes. Yes. I put that up on my Instagram uh, storyboard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, just to make us all a little bit jealous. Anyway, <laughs> right. Um, Mandy, 2021, this is the first Monday of 2021. Mm -hmm. How do you feel um, that 2021 is going to go for you? You know, what, what have you, I mean, how do you just feel? You're going to smash it. You're going to absolutely destroy 2021 or what's yeah. going to happen? Andy, apart from drinking from a massive glass oh yeah pint i'm trying to increase water intake um but yeah ba basically i think i think for me like it's a st like i don't know how many people watch david Dominique's call but he spoke about the word new and how new is associated with not necessarily it's just a word it's an emotion because when you have a brand new diary or a brand new book or a brand new phone handbag shoes for the ladies how do you feel? You feel pretty special. Like, oh, I want to make the most of this. And this year is exactly the same. It's a new year. It's a new month. It's a new week. It's a new day. So we've got to embrace it. So how is 2021 looking for me? I'm going to embrace it. You know, this is this is chairmanship year. This is growing our um, trading accounts to crazy amounts. This is the year of, you know, for me personally, retiring my parents. This is the year of, you know, hopefully to come soon. And I say hopefully because I don't know what, what the, you know, lockdown is going to hold. But, you know, the year of travel, the year of expansion, the year of excitement. And the only reason, that, the only way we can do that is by feeling good about our goals. So if you feel good about your goals now, not just for a day or a week, but every single day you wake up and you think, you know, I'm going to smash the day. It's going to be amazing. I feel grateful. You know, write it down in your books, in your gratitude journals. I've got mine right here. You know, use these and write in them. There, there, there you go. Dr. Jav has got his, his as well. So write it down and feel good about it. Don't just be the person who's constantly clapping people by saying, oh, yeah, he hit the rank and she hit the rank. And they also... Um, you know, did really well in their trading, but I got left behind. Do not be the clapper, be the doer and the applier. Be the doer and the applier. So people are saying, oh, wow, look at her. Check him out. Check her out. Like they've done really, really well. So keep focused and keep going. Thank you for that, Mandy. But I just wanted you to say that because that's exactly how I feel. And I was just being lazy because I, knew, I, I, I know you'd say the same thing anyway. So... <laughs> Well, there you go. There you go. I've said it now. So off we go. Oh, and also I just wanted to mention actually while I'm on Java, I completely forgot about this. Um, 
this Friday and every Friday onwards for the Friday fire up call, we're actually adding two customer testimonials to our Friday fire up call of customers who have caught the most amount of pips in that week. So between now and Friday, so today is Friday, uh, sorry, Monday, the 4th of January. So between today and Friday, the 8th of January, we're going to be recognizing two people who have caught the most amount of pips in that week. And you have to send proof to, it'll either be Abdullah or Takir, or it can be Dr. Jav or myself for, for this team. Um, but you, you're going you're gonna to send those into us and then we will recognize you and I will be the one interviewing you on our Friday fire up call. So there's an incentive to help people to really plug in um, to the, uh, you know, the trading and help them to grow their accounts. That's going to be absolutely amazing. I think for everybody and the team collectively and also Mandy will send you a box of chocolates in the post as well to commemorate your, your pips. And no, it's going to be amazing. I mean, you need to be on the fire up call every single Friday. It's an amazing thing. And there are 361 days left until the end of the year. This year is going to be absolutely massive, absolutely awesome. This year is the year of chairman or chairwoman for many of us. So please make a note of that. Make sure you've got your goals in your diary. Write your affirmations, your gratitude journal, and it's going to happen. So whatever you write down will happen, and I can guarantee you that. As long as you put your emotion into that and focus on it, because whatever you focus on will happen. Let's make 2021 our best year ever, as it will be for many of us. And I will see you all on Wednesday. We have our guest presentation on Wednesday at 6 p.m. I'll see you then. Otherwise, have a good evening and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.